Welcome to the Trick Buster Show, I'm Grand Buster Letter, and today I'm going to explain you a very easy chip illusion. The anti-gravity water. Question, in the real life, bound to the laws of physics that rule our world, is it possible to put a nap and bottle upside down without its canton fall? Answer, no. Once released, water precipitates always downwards towards the center of a planet, like any object. But some people making funny gestures with their hands and calling themselves magicians are able to free themselves of their physics laws and make possible the impossible. With them, the water doesn't escape the bottle and doesn't fall on the floor. Well, they put a transparent cap, you'll say. But so how can they slide to fix into the bottle? Eh? No cap. And how can they, with a simple blow, make the water false? Do you believe in supernatural powers? Well, we don't. We only believe in deceivers. Remember, magic doesn't exist, only tricks. Let's analyze the illusion from a rational point of view. If the water doesn't fall, it is because something is preventing it from falling. There can be only two possibilities. From the upper part, making vacuum in the bottle, the water is sucked upwards. And from the lower part, with a simple cap put on the bottleneck. Since the first one is difficult to realize without some complicated and evident manipulations, what's left? The easiest one, the cap. Well, if the magician puts a hidden cap, he must touch the bottleneck to put it. Let's watch. Here it is. Look how unnatural is the position of the hand. It is because it hides a transparent cap. We try to put a simple circle of plastic sheets on the bottleneck, but we feel that the weight of the water pushes it and lets it fall. But it worked. By this simple physics principle called suction, the cap stays stuck to the bottleneck. Indeed, if you press the cap, the air is removed, causing the two surfaces to stick together. Well, now how can a magician slide something in the bottle since there is a cap? Well, it is only possible if the cap has a hole in it, a so tiny hole that it could let a toothpick pass, but not enough air to push the water out from the bottle. Watch, even with a hole in it, the water doesn't fall, since no air can enter enough to move it outwards. And then, to release the water at his will, the magician just has to shake briefly but strongly the bottle, so the shock exhausted by the water hit the cap and removed it. At the end of the illusion, what's on the floor? You'll certainly see the gimmick. Big Buster's water, the beverage of the super skeptics. We are two super skeptics fighting against all kinds of deceivers because physics exists. Physics, 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 physics rule the world. Magic doesn't exist, doesn't exist, doesn't exist. Stop believing!